I'm standing here on Giles Island. It's a magical place. It's a 10,000 acre island just outside of Natchez, Mississippi. It's got a pretty colorful history because it used to be attached to the mainland of Mississippi. Uh, in 1933, the Army Corps of Engineers changed that and they, they dredged a pass through to increase the velocity of the river to try to decrease some of the sediment um, with the windy course of that Mississippi River. There's many properties up and down the Mississippi River, but this is a pretty unique one uh, because we have a special piece of history with uh, the Jim Bowie sandbar fight. It was a, a neutral site for two dueling families from Alexandria, Louisiana, the Maddoxes and the Wells. Um, Jim Bowie is on the, the Maddox side and they chose this spot because it was a neutral spot for both families. It was also out of the jurisdiction of any of the police uh, for the anti-dual laws. So they were um, here to settle some of their differences. Uh, Jim is most well known because he, he suffered many injuries, both um, stab wounds from swords, knives, and, and bullet, bullets. He um, was able to defend himself with just his Jim Bowie knife. So the Bancroft family uh, acquired Giles Island in 1992. It was after a long search that uh, Mr. Bancroft found this property. He grew up um, hunting on Davis Island. His, his father was one of the originators over on Davis Island um, as far as hunting goes. And he had in his mind that he wanted um, an island in the Mississippi River made from one of these oxbow lakes. So he, he searched for many years and uh, as luck would have it, this property came available for him and he was able to purchase it. And in 1992, he started bringing his family here to hunt. 1996, Jimmy Riley was brought on board. He was a local. Um, a lot of people had good things to say about him. At that point, he wasn't a professional hunter. Um, but since then, he has made a name for himself in this region. Here on Giles Island, we offer several things to the general public, uh, even in the off season, and the off season being outside of hunting season. But during our hunting season, we, we offer, we have squirrel hunting, which we do in February with dogs, and that's a blast. You can be as loud as you want to and cut up. Um, we offer alligator hunting in September. Uh, we also offer dove hunting on the weekends during September. Everybody gets their limit. That can hit them, that is. <laughs> and then uh, in, in the off season, if somebody would like to have a uh, corporate retreat, you know, a business meeting or a wedding reception or whatever like that, we offer those kind of things in the off season. But our bread and butter on Giles Island, what we really are proud of is the deer hunting. Um, it's our passion, it's my passion, and all the guides here. and. Uh, Benji Stowers and Will Cowan have been with me for many, many years. Over here we worked as a team and it's all of our passion. And we had a dream, we had a vision when we started out to, uh, to raise these deer to be as big as they possibly could, hoping, it was a hope back then, that they could be world-class animals. And, and we got lucky and we succeeded. We're gonna kill a certain number of really large bucks every year. We don't know when it's going to happen but it's going to happen sometime between October 1 and January 31. And it, this, is, this is not a canned hunt. This is not a high fence. This is, these are fair chase, wild, whitetail animals. But we're able to get close enough to them and, and, and get them. I mean, when I say good animals, I'm talking about 170, 180, and our best deer to date scored 248 inches. So that's pretty good for, for fair chase, southeastern, United States whitetail. You know, Giles Island is one of the most unique places I've ever been in my life. It is so incredibly pristine. An island in the middle of the historic Mississippi River, you just don't get more pristine than that. And the opportunity to kill a deer is just incredible here. It's, uh, it's amazing to me every year you look at the calendar, you look through their book at how many uh, Pope and Young deer are scored on this island. It's just crazy how they produce deer like that in the middle of the south. It, it, it is really a special, special place. And it's uniquely different than any other commercial uh, hunting outfit that I've been a part of. Uh, most, and there are some really good ones, so don't let me sound critical of outfitters because a lot of outfitters do a great job and they work hard. But Giles Island is unique in the fact that they put their guides together and they have really a regiment that this is what these guys do. And uh, the quality of the people that they have and their process of getting those guys 
uh, quality guides uh, is quite effective, obviously. You go into Lodge and you look at all the giant deer they have on the wall, you know for sure they're doing something right. They really work hard, they make you hunt, uh, uh, make it where you have an opportunity to have a successful hunt, and they make it a pleasurable experience to spend time on Giles Island. I've been here for, I guess this is my sixth hunt, maybe seventh hunt on Giles Island. And uh, er I look forward to every year the opportunity to come back here to have great fellowship with the guides and the people and uh, get fat. Man, the food here is incredible. So when you put it all together, I don't know that I would recommend any place in the world over Giles Island. It, it is just an experience that is incredible. Opportunity to kill a Pope and Young deer is really, really high and they work, work hard to make all that happen. So I think, personally, it's the greatest value uh, in, in all of the hunting opportunities that I have a part of. The Giles Island, to be able to come here and hunt with a bow and arrow is extremely affordable and a class, I mean, five-star accommodation. So I don't know how I could give Giles Island a higher rating than what I do. It's at the top. In 2002, we decided it was important that our guests, uh, they had a place where they could all be together, where we could display our trophies. Um, and so we built our main ca camp, um, the Antlers Cabin. And that's where we have uh, all of our meals, that's where everybody socializes. And again, that's where we have all of our trophies uh, from the island. Then um, in 2007, we realized um, our accommodations for the, for the hunter's sleeping arrangements um, needed a little bit of improvement and so we took it up a few steps and built our uh, cabin that we call treetops. We call it treetops because it's uh, elevated on stilts um, in preparation for the, the changes in the river stage. Uh, um, inside of that uh, cabin we have um, really high-end uh, decorations, accommodations. We really want to make our customers co comfortable when they come here. We pride ourselves on the fact that when uh, customers come over here they feel like they're at home. You know, you, you, people ask a lot, where's your favorite place to hunt? Where, where do you like to go? Well, there's a lot of good places to go, but I'm going to be honest with you. Giles is my favorite, and there's two reasons. There's big bucks and there's southern hospitality. Here we are below the Mason-Dixon hunting big bucks, which is not that common. Not just big antlers, but big body. Big all the way around, and the amenities they have here and the folks, man, the, from the guides to the cooks to everybody involved. It's just a fun place and everybody's got a laid back lemonade attitude. When you walk through the woods at Giles Island, there's no telling what you might see. This land is so diverse, you could be hunting over a slough or a bayou. The next thing you know, you're in a big green crop field. It's just a neat place that's like no other place that I've been. Even the timber at Giles Island is like no other place. You got all these hackberry trees and sycamores and these bright and light colored trees and they're full of vines. It's, everything's covered with vines and the ground's covered with balloon vine. I've never seen this anywhere else. This is the absolute most beautiful place I've ever deer hunted.